got 7.3 million people who come into this country illegally. To the people of the press, you got your answer from CPAC. If you're going to secure America, you have to secure its borders. You have to. We have 7.3 million people who come into this country illegally. 7.3 million. And Joe Biden wants to make it an even 10 million. That's insane. No country would ever tolerate this. And so my position to my colleagues on Capitol Hill is clear. You either secure the border or you get no money for the government. Now, the press would say, oh, my gosh, Congressman Donald, you're talking about the government being closed. Oh, are you concerned about that? <laughs> to the people of the press, you got your answer from CPAC. But I tell these reporters when they ask me this, I say, the federal government has one primary job. It is to secure this nation and to secure its people. That's its first job before anything else. The states that ratified the Constitution of the United States would have never, ever, ratified a constitution that would have allowed the federal government to allow an invasion into the United States. They never would have signed it. Those states would have kept their militias and they'd have said, I'll see you guys later, maybe we can work some things out, but that document is nuts and there's no way I'm going to be a part of it. So we have to be very clear about this. Joe Biden has a decision to make. Decide, Mr. President. Do you want to close Mount Rushmore so the southern border can be open? Do you, Joe Biden, want to tell the last remaining of our World War II vets that they cannot see the World War II memorial on the National Mall so we can have military-aged men from China and the Middle East come into our country illegally? Decide, Joe Biden, which country matters more to you, the border of the United States or the border of Ukraine. Chan, but you're messing up my time, CPAC. I love you. We love you. I love you too. We, we have to be serious about this. We, right now, what's going on in Detroit, in Denver, in Boston? We already know about what's going on in New York. You have the NYPD officers, and by the way, the NYPD officers, they're white, they're black, they're Hispanic, they're men and they're women, and they're being beaten in, the sh in their own streets of their own city where they are charged to help protect the people of New York, and they're being beat up by people who shouldn't be in the country in the first place. What kind of insanity is this? And so for my colleagues on Capitol Hill who are concerned about, oh, well, well, Byron, we, we don't win government shutdowns. I say there's never been an issue facing this country that has united the American people more. And securing our border and securing our nation is not a conservative position. It is not a liberal position. It is not a white position or a black position. It is an American You have to. Oh. Are you concerned about that? Or you get no money for the government. 
No country would ever tolerate this. And so ask me this, I say, the federal government has one primary job. It is to My position to my colleagues on Capitol Hill is clear. You either secure the border.